Good morning guys. Welcome to another vlog. It's been a very long time since I vlogged. I just got back from one of my midwife appointments. It went well. Baby's breech currently. That's okay. We have time, okay? We have time. But other than that, everything's been good. I'm just trying to get myself a little bit more ready because I'm going to go out grocery shopping and I'll kind of update you guys on what's been going on since I feel like it's been a while since I videoed so a lot has happened but yeah so I was thinking that I was going to make a crock pot meal I don't know like nothing is sounding good is there any meal you're specifically wanting Nick I don't know this is, if this is a bad time to, to shop, but like nothing sounds good to eat. <laughs> Maybe we'll just make do with the basics. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling in the mood to like cook because the fatigue, y'all, the fatigue has come back into the picture. My fatigue was really bad first trimester and it's definitely getting bad again. It's hard for me to get a lot of normal stuff done. Um, so I think I'm just gonna kind of keep the grocery list simple and hopefully have like quick meals that I can make for myself or like more so snacks. I've been like needing to snack more than have like a big meal because there's just not as much room in here. <laughs> Nick's gonna leave for work soon because he went with me to the appointment. And so once he leaves, I'm gonna head out and go grocery shopping. <laughs> hey, do you remember twenty something years ago? Those cold. All right, folks, off to the grocery store we go. <laughs> Fireplace warming us. The VHS movie bus. Your old broke down touring bus. And not a single cloud in the sky. If I could go back in time, I'd pack my bags right now. If I could play back rewind, I wouldn't think twice. A pair of jeans and a dusty shirt. All right, well, I am thoroughly exhausted. I don't know how many trips I had to take to get the groceries in, but it's getting much more difficult constantly carrying a baby around. But I gotta put these away now. Then we'll do a little chit chat update maybe once I catch my breath from this little boy. Nooga noom. He's sitting on a gown. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You're so cute. Groceries are put away. Everything is so much more exhausting when you're pregnant. But I got some kind of indulgent things. Chocolate and strawberry muffins because they were marked down. But I'm like, these look so good, don't they? Like these, this is a triple chocolate and this is a strawberry with like streusel. And then for whatever reason, I've been really wanting a Twix and they have all their Halloween candy out now. So I just thought I would get one of these so that if I'm feeling like a little something sweet, it's just a tiny little bar. So those are like my indulgent purchases. I bought a lot of fruit, trying out some different kinds of apples. They're ambrosia apples. I feel like I've had these before and I feel like they were really good. I also got some grapes, which I haven't had in so long. I also have this half a grapefruit that I cut up yesterday. I've been feeling a lot more like wanting to have like fruits and stuff. So I'm gonna have this. Yesterday I ate my grapefruit outside and it was delightful. I'm gonna do the same thing today. I bought some zero gravity chairs off of Amazon, which are the most comfortable chairs ever. I could sit here all day 
And honestly, sometimes I do. So good. Okay. So, now let's just sit down <laughs> and chat about some stuff. I'm going to sit and chat with you guys while I eat my little Twix. I'm excited. This blanket actually looks really great. Whew. Okay. So obviously this morning we went to our appointment and baby is currently breech, which is definitely not where we want him to be, but he's got time. He's got time. I'm definitely going to be praying a lot that he flips around in time. My whole plan is to go into this naturally, to have a natural hospital birth. He needs to be in a good position for that to be a thing and not have any complications. So definitely praying for baby to flip. My sciatica has definitely gotten so, so much better. It was about 10 days of basically not being able to walk. Just the most pain I've ever been in, in my entire life. Like, I would never wanna go through that again. Praying and hoping that that does not come back like that because I was not able to do anything. I was so depressed. I was in so much pain. I was crying all the time from just like the mental and emotional toll, but also the physical toll on my body. So I'm really thankful that that, that is seemingly better right now. Third trimester has been interesting so far. It's been really hard, obviously physically and just mentally, and I haven't had motivation. Now my fatigue's coming back. So far, third trimester, not so fun. So I am definitely like excited to be in the home stretch and just praying and hoping baby turns around so that we can have a smooth birth. A huge praise and something that I honestly was so, so surprised by was I passed my glucose test. I thought for sure, like even at the beginning of this pregnancy, I thought for sure I was going to get diagnosed with gestational diabetes. Diabetes is very common in my family. A ton of people have it. And so I was definitely at higher risk for getting gestational diabetes because so many of my family members have diabetes, but I passed. And she told me today that I passed with like flying colors. Like my score was really, really good. And that just honestly blessed me, shocked me. I <laughs> genuinely thought I was gonna get it, but I didn't. And so yay, I get to enjoy sugar. Um, hence the, the Twix. Praise the Lord, God is good, and I don't have gestational diabetes. Yay! I have other things to, to update you guys on, but I feel like for the most part, I haven't had like the energy or the time or just the capability to even film. I, I feel guilty for that. Like I feel guilty for not putting time and putting effort into my YouTube channel, which I love, but I also don't want to force out something um, or put that pressure on me that causes stress, especially right now. It's been difficult um, just mentally wanting to be consistent, but knowing that I'm just not in a place or a stage where I can be consistent like I have been in the past. And then I feel like I'm letting you guys down, that I feel like YouTube's gonna kick me out of its like algorithm because I'm not like posting consistently and any momentum I gained by posting consistently it has been lost and so it's just it can be really disheartening to have to deal with that side emotionally as well. Also one of the major things that happened is I did officially quit my part-time job so I am technically unemployed even though I still do like YouTube and I want to get my Etsy shop back up and running. It's not running right now and it probably won't be until, I don't know, after baby. I just don't have the energy to open it right now. Unless I got some crazy, crazy energy and motivation in the next like month, 
I don't see it happening. Kind of officially a stay at home, soon to be mom. And I'm honestly, I'm really, really looking forward to it. This is something I've wanted for a very long time is to be able to be home and raise a family, be a good wife, be a good mother. I enjoy house stuff. I enjoy housework and I enjoy keeping the home clean and tidy and just finding ways to make money from home or save money and things like that to help my family. And I'm just, I'm looking forward to the opportunity to be a stay at home mom, at least for right now. And if that changes, then we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. If finances become too much of an issue, I know that things will be tight, but if they, becomes too much of an issue, obviously I will go back into um, the workforce in some degree, like we'll make it, we'll make something happen. I quit my job, I was bedridden, we had to cancel our baby moon slash our anniversary trip, which wrecked me, but it was in the heat of me not being able to walk or move or breathe or do anything. And so obviously we weren't able to take our trip that I had so, excitedly planned out because Nick and I haven't gone on a trip like just the two of us for probably like three years and so I was really really looking forward to it and then I had to cancel it. It's okay because we, we made the most of it. Though we were still here I was recovering. I was able to start walking again during that time which was great and then we started on the nursery which has been just looming over me like the nursery needs to be done. The nursery needs to be done. <laughs> So finally started on that. It is looking so good. I cannot wait to show you guys. I really cannot wait to show you guys. It is so stinking cute. So that's kind of what's been going on. Um, just a little bit of the update. I think I just need time to settle in, get things done around the house. There's so many things that need to be done before baby comes. I have a running list on my phone of like house tasks that need to be done. Some of them, a lot of them I can't do because I'm pregnant, but the ones that I can do, I really want to get done before baby's here. The two top thoughts in my brain. I want another Twix and I want to take a nap. <laughs> I'll update you guys a little bit later in the vlog of what I'm reading as well because I've been reading a lot of books and I feel like I haven't updated you guys on like what I've been reading recently. So anyways, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Okay, I just woke up from my nap. It was glorious. Tibbs came and laid with me for a little bit and that was really sweet and cute, but then I started getting really sore and so I, I knew I needed to like switch positions. One of the things that is hard about our bedroom, which we're currently in, is that I need to order custom blinds for these windows right here because the sun just like shines through and uh, is like basically a spotlight. And the same thing happens at night with the moon. Like I will wake up, I don't know, around, I wake up a lot during the night by the way. Um, but I'll wake up probably around like 3 a.m. and the moon is just like in the position where it's literally like either a spotlight on Nick or a spotlight on me. And it is so bright. It feels like daylight almost. So I definitely need to get blinds for these windows, but because they're this like awkward shape, they're like really wide that I'm like, I don't know how much we're gonna have to spend to get these custom ordered. But I did find a site, I think it's blinds.com or something. I might try and see how much it would be for these two windows in this bedroom because you know soon enough baby is gonna be sleeping with us in here too <laughs> also now i'm seeing <laughs> um this wall is all patched up because there used to be a sliding door like barn door style for the bathroom that ended up falling off of the tracks and denting up the wall and then i just kind of wanted to take it off entirely. Then we were patching the holes and Nick saw a bunch of other, clearly other things that needed to be patched. This is a very old house, by the way. Um, so there's just like a bunch of 
spackle patches that um, I need to go and sand down. Some of them are probably going to need a little bit more spackle. Then I'll end up probably painting the room, like repainting it. The gray is fine, like we can live with it, but it's not something that I would have picked out. I'm wanting this house to be like warmer and so I'm wanting like whites and creams and like warm tone colors. Do I sound like I've been asleep for five hours? <laughs> I should probably eat because it's been a couple hours since I've eaten and this baby <laughs> likes to have regular feedings. Now that like she's confirmed, my midwife confirmed the baby is breech, like, like right here hurts so bad and I think that's just because like that's where his feet are and he's just like kicking around it is so painful <laughs> so I really want him to turn around and then I'll have pain in my ribs of course but still just like right here it's it's awful there's our um there's our baby Newton mattress that my mother-in-law bought for us. I'm so excited. It comes so highly raved and rated. So once we get the crib put together, we'll be able to put the mattress in. I do want to do like some, maybe like a little uh, yoga ball workout. I've been enjoying those as much as I can work out. <laughs> it's getting a lot, a lot more difficult to work out. <laughs> I thought I was going to be like way more I don't know, like consistent in, in working out, even like all the way through pregnancy, which I was until I got the sciatica and then obviously couldn't move for 10 days. Mentally, it was just like so disheartening because I've been working so hard to prepare my body for labor. And then when I wasn't able to do a thing, I was like, all that work that I've been doing months and months and months, um, even years leading up to this, is all lost because I'm not able to move. I'm not able to maintain it. Luckily, like it was only around two-ish weeks that I wasn't able to work out at all. Now getting back into workouts, I can definitely tell that with baby getting bigger, working out is so much more difficult. I'm just not able to do as much as I thought I was going to be able to do, if that makes sense. Like I thought I was still gonna be able to work out fairly normally, some modifications, but it's like way more difficult than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I should just eat a snack and then maybe figure out something to make for dinner for both Nick and I. I got a big, it's, is it too dark in here? Sorry, y'all. Anyways, I got a big, five pound bag of potatoes. I should make something with potatoes in it, right? Also, I had one of these strawberry muffins. So good. Can't wait to have the chocolate ones. Okay, so it's six o'clock now. I'm gonna start making some mashed potatoes. Found a little recipe on Pinterest that I'm gonna try. Unfortunately, Nick is gonna be working late tonight, so I'm still gonna make them um, and hopefully they'll be fine to be reheated. Truth be told was like, oh, well, Nick's getting home late anyways, so do I really need to make dinner? And I really didn't want to, but because I'm vlogging, it is holding me accountable, so I'm actually going to make this <laughs> meal. I really, really contemplated not doing it because I'm really tired, but the show must go on, folks, so let's cook.
test. First time making mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. You know, not bad. Add some green onions. Added a little bit of garlic powder just to make it more garlicky. But I might put like a little bit of butter. I put a lot of butter in. Take a little bit more for my personal helping. We'll see if that kind of helps make it a little bit creamier. Hopefully Nick likes it whenever he gets home. Let's see with the butter. Definitely butter. So I'm gonna get ready for bed soon, but I did wanna share with you guys what I've been reading. So on my, what is this? I was gonna say Kindle. It's an iPad. Um, on my iPad with an ebook, I've been reading Survive the Night by Riley Sager. I am close to finishing it. My library hold, my library loan. Struggling. My library loan expires tonight, so I really do need to finish this tonight. So I'll probably read some more before bed. And then the other book that I'm reading is Labor with Hope, Gospel Meditations on Pregnancy, Childbirth, and Motherhood. This is very biblically based. There's not like, there's not like a lot of practicals when it comes to labor, which I thought there might be, which is okay. That's not really the point of it or the design of it. It's more so to have you reflect on scripture. I have been enjoying it. And then Nick and I are reading The Birth Partner. We need to read that more consistently for sure. Um, but that's a really good one for like the practicals of like learning birth, learning what's going on with my body, learning what's going to go on with my body and things like that. I look so tired. <laughs> but yeah, those are kind of the books that I'm physically reading. And then I'm almost done listening to Atomic Habits on audiobook. I think I have just a couple chapters left. Listen to some of that today and I've been really enjoying it. It's a very highly rated book and I can see why. I love creating routines, good habits for myself. In this season of life, it's a little bit more challenging just because like I don't have my normal capabilities and my normal um, energy and stuff like that. So me wanting to wake up early and stuff and create like an early morning routine isn't really happening right now. Like I wake up at seven when I'd typically like to wake up probably around six, but it's just, it's rough, you know? Anyways, I'm going to get ready for bed because I just want to feel comfy, cozy, take my makeup off, brush my teeth. Nick's probably not gonna be home for another like hour and a half. He's got a really late night. Anyways, I am going to relax, get ready for bed, maybe get in bed. I feel a headache coming on, so that's not great. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and this little catch up day in my life. If you wanna support the channel, give the video a thumbs up, comment down below, and be praying for baby to flip. <laughs> we pray to a very powerful God who is in control of everything. He can control this little baby to turn over. And so I am praying and praying, praying for baby to flip. So if you want something to pray for this week, pray for baby to flip. All right, done babbling. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video.